Welcome to Morningstar. Nintendo Switch consoles were among the top purchases during COVID. Now, as pandemic restrictions are gradually removed, holiday travel is back. What does it mean for the game developer? Kazunori Ito, director for equity research at Morningstar Asia, is here to tell us. Hi, Kaz. Switch may be the best-selling game console ever, but are the best days for, for the console giant behind it? Well, yes, it's inevitable that people decide to use uh, more money for the outside activities, such as travels uh, going forward. But meanwhile, I think uh, Nintendo is performing very nice and demand for Switch is still solid by leveraging its uh, attractive uh, game pipeline. So uh, Nintendo guides 21 million console shipments for this fiscal year, which is 9% down from the previous year. But we need to note that a Switch is now moving towards the end of its cycle, so 6% down is not bad. And the company is still expecting 21 cost, uh, console shipment is not bad. So in fact, Nintendo's past hardware has never exceeded 20 million shipments in its seventh fiscal year. So we think that Nintendo is succeeding in enabling the longer lifetime for the platform. So this year, Blockbuster releases like uh, Pokemon Legends, Arceus excited many uh, gamers. In your opinion, is this success re replicable? And are what are some of the firm's next generation plans? Uh, yes, I think the success is replicable because uh, Nintendo has a very strong game asset. Nintendo's strengths is its attractive game pipeline. Nintendo used to operate two platforms in the past. One is home consoles, the other is the portable consoles, but now has integrated two platforms into one Switch platform. As a result, Nintendo is now able to launch two or three uh, big first-party titles every year. So in fact, uh, 70 or 80 percent of Nintendo's gaming revenue comes from its own software. This means that Nintendo can differentiate itself uh, from others by uh, its, uh, leveraging its own attractive games. And Nintendo's games will continue to drive consoles, uh, console sales on even on the next platform. And uh, Switch's uh, active users has exceeded 100 million. So uh, the key challenge for Nintendo is whether the company can succeed most of the user base into the next generation platform. We think Nintendo will try to increase the number of membership for its monthly subscription program by uh, leveraging the, its old game titles and offer the, uh, the, the game program so that uh, people will, uh, more people will decide to join into the program. So other than Switch and its game lineup, what else do you like about Nintendo as a stock? Yeah, we want to uh, emphasize about the 10 to 1 stock split they had just announced, which should be the first time throughout its history. And the reason uh, we, uh, we believe that the stock split will be welcomed by the market is that that will offer a lot of uh, more of the flexibility to investors. So uh, before the split, uh, the, uh, the investors has to, uh, the minimum amount of investing in Nintendo was five or six million Japanese yen, which is not a small amount. So uh, uh, the split will enable to invest in uh, Nintendo in uh, one-tenth of the amount. So that will uh, give more flexibility, especially for the retail investors. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kaz. For Morningstar, I'm Caitlin.